This is Lopasan Costa Bavaro, and it is incredible. It is one of the best all-inclusive resorts in Putucana. It is one of the best all-inclusive hotels I've done on the channel. Everything was pretty much excellent throughout my entire stay, from my very first impression to my very last experience. I had a phenomenal time here, and I can't wait to show it to you. This is Lopasan Costa Bavaro, Putucana. Okay, Lopasan Costa Barbaro. Uh, bear with me on this intro. It's gonna be just a little bit longer than usual, but trust me, you wanna hear this. I am actually really nervous about this property. So I got to my room yesterday and it is one of the best first impressions I've ever had in any hotel room ever. Um, I couldn't believe the build quality, how large it was. Uh, the room is spacious, it is modern, it's warm, it's vibrant, it's comfortable, it's chic. So last night I was delirious because I came off that crazy trip at Ryu Palace, Putnikana, and I just ordered room service. Uh, the burger was okay, but the paninis were interesting. I don't think they were paninis at all, but whatever they were, they were delicious. So super nice room, good food. The trip was off to a great start, and then this morning I woke up and went to go get a coffee. I walked around this property, and it is stunning. This property is gorgeous. I have no idea why it took me so long to come here. I never saw Lopasan coming. This property is absolutely marvelous. Just walking to get my coffee was a treat. I had a handcrafted vanilla latte, which was delicious. I had an Irish coffee because why not? That was amazing as well. I had some finger foods such as a salmon bagel and cupcake to tide me over until later. And now I'm back in my room and I am really nervous because this property seems really awesome. I certainly did not expect this. It's one of the best first impressions I've ever had. And now I have this gigantic property, which I didn't expect to love this much to see and do over the next three days and nights. It is gonna be a tall order, but I definitely think I can do it. This is Lopasan Costa Barbaro. And that was the adults only pool. It's exactly what I thought it would be and exactly what it needed to be. It was classy and quiet, calm. I like the floating pod concept. I don't think I've seen floating cabanas at any Putacana hotel up until this point. I thought that was really clever and cool. That Dominican flag drink was gigantic and I just drank half of it and I already caught a buzz. So this day is definitely off to a great start. Uh, really enjoyed my time there, but I know there's more to see on this property. Uh, that infinity pool is one of the best pools, if not the best pool I've seen in Putacana up until this point. Uh, another pool I hold in very high esteem is the one at Breathless. But compared to the Breathless pool, this one might actually be larger. Uh, it has an infinity edge, it's a double decker, and it's closer to the beach. So in those aspects, it definitely outpoints the one at Breathless. Uh, this hotel is massive, it has over a thousand people, and this pool had more than enough space to accommodate everybody. In fact, I was shocked by how much space, peace, and quiet there was at the main pool. So everything up until this point has been pretty excellent, 
but tonight's going to be a big test for this property. What is the dining like? What are the restaurants like? Uh, we're going to find out very quickly because I'm off to the restaurant here at Lopasan. It's the most elegant one. It's the only one that requires a dress code. I'm off to La Boheme, their French restaurant. big day today. Today is a beach day and then later tonight I have the steakhouse. I definitely need to fill you in on the French restaurant from last night. Uh, but before any of that, I want to talk about the gym very quickly, which I just finished up at. It is the most incredible Punta Cana hotel gym I've ever encountered. It's in a league of its own. It's in its own stratosphere. It's unbelievable. It is better than most standalone gyms in any major city. The gym and the spa is located in the boulevard area of the hotel. That's basically where all the action is besides the beach and the pool. Uh, there's also a water park at the very end of it. Now that is not my style at all. I just checked it out very quickly and it is actually really cool. So before I tell you about dinner last night and then head to the beach, uh, I want to go try to check out the breakfast buffet before it closes. It's done at 1030, but I think I can get over there just in time. Four words, chocolate pancakes and pastries. Where have chocolate pancakes been all of my life? Now, I am not the biggest pancake aficionado anymore, but I don't recall really seeing them before at an all-inclusive hotel. And if I have, I've overlooked them, but I will never overlook them again. They were divine. There were chocolate waffles as well, but the pancakes were definitely where it was at. And then there were pastries everywhere in that buffet. They were scattered throughout. I kind of had to search them out like it was an Easter egg hunt. There was a dessert counter as well. Of course, I had to indulge in that. There was one general buffet, but there were two separate seating areas, the family general side and then the adults only side. You could tell that Lopasan put a lot of effort into the buffet. Uh, they replenished the items all the way up until close and they did the little things like even having the mixers inside the juices so they had the perfect consistency. And then dinner last night at La Boheme. It was amazing, phenomenal. Uh, one of the best dinners, if not the best I've had in Punta Cana. And I know I've said best, best, best a lot up until this point, but I just have to call this hotel like it is. Everything I've encountered this far has been excellent and impressive. Uh, the French restaurant last night was sophisticated and classy, but it still had a little bit of coolness and personality. Uh, like you'll find at any high-end French restaurant, I had like three or four people waiting on me. The salmon was fantastic. The service was great. The drinks were delicious. Overall, it was a wonderful way to end my first night here. There are three areas to Lopasan Costa Barbaro Beach. The first area is the general section, uh, then there's an adults only section, and then there is the unique section. Now the general section is pretty self-explanatory. In some areas it was pretty jam-packed, and in other areas there was a lot of space. The adults only section was much smaller than I anticipated, but there was still definitely room to grab a spot. And then the unique section is where it's at. Now that is the upsell portion of the property. You have to pay extra to be part of the unique program here. But it was all the way at the end, it was more private, it was isolated, and it seemed to have the best stretch of sand and water. Now there is a bit of a seaweed issue here, but I have encountered that at other Barbaro beaches during this trip. It could just be the spot, it could be seasonality. But one thing that really impressed me is that by the end of the day, Lopasan pretty much had all of it cleaned up.
This might be the first Putacana hotel room where there isn't a Presidente in my mini fridge. This one is all right. A little foamy, as you can see. Uh, the steakhouse last night. I should have gone to the French restaurant on my last night here. I should have saved it to the end. Now I'm comparing every single restaurant to the French one, and I don't think that's fair. I don't think anything else is going to be on that level. Uh, in terms of its ambiance, though, the steakhouse was close. It was dark and cool and trendy in there. It had a vibe. There was some house music playing. Um, the food was good. It was a solid meal. Again, I think I'm biased. The best two dishes of the night were the starter and the finisher, the appetizer and the dessert. That dessert was even more delicious than it was beautiful. I think the Italian dinner tonight is going to be interesting. I think it's probably going to be somewhere in between the steakhouse and the French restaurant. So we'll find out on that in a second. And then after that, I'm going to try to check out all of the entertainment options here at night. Uh, there is a sports bar. There is a tequila bar. There is a nightclub. There is an English pub. There might be an entertainment show tonight. There is a late night food option and a late, late night food option. I'm going to try to do all of that in one evening. Okay, I'm up in the room after dinner. I came here to freshen up and also give myself a pep talk. I need one. Um, not only am I questioning making it through tonight, which is a daunting task, I don't know if I'm gonna make it through this trip. I can't believe I have half of my trip still remaining and the three best hotels left. Uh, it's crazy to think about. I actually don't even wanna think about it. Um, I will most likely pull through though this trip and tonight. I am your human Labrador. I am your travel sled dog. I will never let you down. Always loyal. Uh, while I'm up here, I should probably talk about the Italian restaurant. It is exactly what I thought it would be. It is right in between the steakhouse and French restaurant in terms of food quality. The ambiance was definitely a step down from both, but you're there for the food. That's what the most important thing is. In chronological order, I had the carpaccio, the lasagna, and the pizza, and that was the order in terms of deliciousness as well. The pizza was amazing. It was the best pizza I've had at any Putacana all-inclusive. Now, I'm having a bit of fun with you. I know I've said that a lot throughout the video. It is true, but it doesn't take much. Most of the pizza I've had up until this point has been pretty pathetic. So uh, I need to get out of this room because the longer I'm up here, uh, the greater chance I'm in that bed. So I'm gonna bounce out of here and start the evening festivities for the night. I'm starting things outdoors here at Lopasan for the evening. I was looking for Karib Bar. Uh, that is an outdoor bar that's open till like 8.30 or 9 o'clock. I thought I was here, there, but I'm not. Turns out I'm at the Unique Bar instead, but they let me have a drink here anyway, which I appreciate. I just wanted to come out here and have a drink before everything closed. This is one of the few properties where it's beautiful during the day, but it's even more stunning at night. So I'm gonna finish my rum passion fruit drink and head to the next spot. I am definitely regretting my time at the tequila bar and it wasn't the multiple shots. It was not booking dinner there. It was inside the Mexican restaurant. I had no idea. I passed it up for the Italian spot tonight. And although I had a great dinner at the Italian spot, I did kind of want to check out the Mexican place. I'm a little regretful because the energy in there was electric and plus they have a tequila bar. Uh, feeling great at the moment. It's probably the tequila shots. Tequila was probably the answer to my problems this entire time. I mean, tequila is usually the answer for everything, always. So at the moment, I'm feeling great. I wanna keep this momentum going. I'm off to the lobby bar.
three spots in the books already. I am surprised by how smoothly this night is going. I think as long as I get awesome drinks like that Toucan, we're gonna have a pretty easy breezy night. So I'm leaving the main portion of the hotel and I'm entering the boulevard area. That is where the spa is, the gym, the water park, the nightclub, the English pub, the sports bar, and where I'm headed right now, the theater. outside of YOLO right now which is the late night fast food spot and I just missed it it closes at 11 I knew that it did and I'm really disappointed because the menu looked insane I stayed till the end of the Michael Jackson show it wasn't something I was planning on doing but it was just mesmerizing I was captivated the entire way the production quality is something I've never seen at a resort before it was really unparalleled with an actual theater the theatrics the lighting the performers um, best ever in a lot of ways it was so my plan was to hit up YOLO and then do the other three spots, but the food is gonna happen right now. There is a 24 seven restaurant back towards the other portion of the hotel. Maybe I can hit that at the end of the night, but as of right now, I'm just gonna rally. Uh, I got the sports bar, the English pub, and the nightclub. So for an English pub at a Dominican Republic all-inclusive, I think that's as good as you're going to get. I had the lowest of low expectations. I knew there wasn't gonna be anything nitro, nothing from a cask, but the decor was pretty accurate and they had three different types of cervezas. It's open till 1 a.m., but I think people are elsewhere. So I'm on to the next. That is one of the nicest sports bars I've ever been in at an all-inclusive. It's a shame that nobody was in there. I loved the vibe. Uh, with the horseshoe booths and then the really trick lighting, it was a fun spot to be. It's just a shame that it was empty. I just think there's too many options after 11 p.m. Uh, there was an outdoor DJ, people are back at the main lobby bar, and plus the nightclub is now open. I bet you that with the right crowd and the right date, that club goes off. It is 1 a.m. on a Thursday here, and I gotta remember this is a family hotel, and considering all of that, there was still a vibe, a huge vibe. It was super cool in there, I actually loved it. Definitely the best spot to hang out at here late night at Lopasan. So I made it all the way through tonight. I pretty much did everything I wanted to do. I am really disappointed I did not get a chance to get at YOLO. But there is a late night food option over at the Valley. It's open 24 seven. I'm gonna head over there and finish my night.
Before I give you my final rating of this property, I want to point out three negatives and three positives. Now, full disclosure, there aren't a lot of negatives about this property. They are few and far between, and they are very light. But I do try to give both sides. So let's get the negatives out of the way. Uh, the first one is the layout. Now it's not terrible and I didn't hate it, but I don't think it's the most intuitive. I did struggle a little bit navigating the property for the first couple days. The second negative would be the AC in the room, or at least in my room. Uh, it wasn't nearly powerful enough. I think the room is almost too smart for its own good. From what I can see, uh, there are sensors everywhere throughout the room, and if you are sitting in one spot for a while, or if you leave the room and it doesn't detect any motion, it shuts off the AC, which means if you leave your room for the day or for the evening, or really just for an hour or two, you come back to a very, very hot room. And to make things even more challenging, the AC is definitely underpowered. I could never get the room to a comfortable temperature. And then lastly is the adults only component of this hotel. Um, I think it's a little lacking. The pool was undersized, the beach area was really small, and I don't think there was a dedicated adults only tower. I know for a fact that my neighbors were a family and I did see a lot of children and families in my tower. Now my room was completely quiet, it was soundproofed, it wasn't a deal breaker by any means, but I think if you're gonna sell an adults only concept, I think the experience should have a dedicated tower. So those were the negatives. Again, I had to stretch a little bit to find them. Let's talk about the positives. It is C, C, C. The first one is consistency. Everything was essentially excellent here from my first impression in the room to my last experiences at the show. Consistency is the only true measure of quality and from start to finish, this hotel was fantastic everywhere. Secondly, this is a complete hotel. It has everything. Beyond the usual that you come to expect from great all-inclusive hotels like multiple restaurants, pools, activities and entertainment options, it has a casino, it has a water park several late night spots, including an awesome nightclub. There's a pharmacy, an arcade, and of course, an adults only option. And finally, the cost. This is what has kept me away from Lopezan Costa Bavaro for the last 18 months. I didn't know how good this hotel was. I never thought it was bad. I just really never thought about it because it was priced so cheaply. Usually the best hotels are far more expensive than this and for the money, I am blown away by what you get here. This is a AAA four diamond rated hotel, but I can tell you it is much, much better than that. And to get this experience, this high end experience for this low of a price makes it not just one of the best values in Putacana, it's one of the best values in the Caribbean. So with all that being said, looking back at my experience, I'm gonna give Lopezan Costa Bavaro a five. I am severely underrating this hotel. It could easily be a 5.5. It's borderline extraordinary. Um, it is possibly the best Putacana all-inclusive that I have stayed at up until this point. We will see if it's number one at the end of my stay. Uh, later in this trip, I'm off to Lopezan's main competitor, Finest, and then after that, I'm finishing at Excellence El Carmen. I don't act rich on Instagram.